I think it's really very critical for patients to be their own advocate. You know, we're very lucky in 2019, almost 2020, that we've got the access that we do to the internet and connectivity to other patients and physicians. And I think it gives us a lot of power to understand what's going on uh, in combination with our healthcare providers. So I really think that patients should be their own best advocate. If someone's talking to you about implants, ask them critical questions about what types of implants they use, why they use implants, what are the alternative to implants, do they understand breast implant illness. Uh, if someone's talking to you about an autologous reconstruction with a deep flap, it's important to know how many deep flaps they've done, are they trained uh, in microsurgery, what their complication rates are, what their vascular thrombosis rates are. And if someone's talking about a flat closure, ask them how they address the chest uh, at the trunk area, ask them how they try to limit areas of deformity and concavity, and ask them you know, what their philosophy is for working with their breast surgeon colleagues to achieve a flat closure. I think these are all very reasonable questions that patients have uh, the right to ask their healthcare providers because ultimately a well-educated and well-informed patient is really the best type of patient.